Aqua Bell and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and if you're new here, welcome to my channel and I hope you consider subscribing. It's free of charge and it benefits me a lot. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you very much for tuning in into today's video. Anyway, um, I just finished, um, I just finished with another video just now and i don't know guys i'm just so excited about those videos i'm just so excited i guess maybe because i'm talking about the things that i loved so much i'm talking about food guys who doesn't like food i'm a foodie and i'm a foodie and so don't please i beg anyway <laughs> i'm just so excited because i'm going to be talking about snacks that you should never miss out on I think I'm just definitely going to be talking about the snacks that I enjoyed when I was in Ghana. And you, you guys should try the snacks. And if you are planning to visit Ghana anytime soon, you, when you get there, eat the snacks and you will not regret it. You will come back and thank me later. Okay? Anyway, um, let's go down to today's video. So, first of all... Um, let me just say, obviously our taste buds, like we taste things differently. And some things that I might like, you probably don't like them. But um, like today, I'm just going to be mentioning the things that I came across and I actually liked and I enjoyed. And I'm only going to be focusing on the snacks. If you haven't seen uh, the one that I was actually talking about food, go and watch it and then you can come back to this one or you can watch this one and then go back to the one that was actually focused only on the food stuff okay so number one on the list something that i actually enjoyed that i'm even so excited to talk about that i'm so excited to talk about dun, dun. so bolo so bolo so bolo <laughs> Guys, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like, I tried looking for, for the, the sobolo flower here, we don't have that in Botswana, but for Ghanaians, I don't know if the Nigerians also have sobolo or what, but yeah, if you have it, can you please explain to people exactly like what that flower is called and all that. But I'll put the pictures, uh, obviously, like I always put the pictures. I'll put the pictures here of what I'm talking about. But Sobolo is a drink. It's a drink. It's it's more like here we have ginger, like um, ginger beer. And it's a drink as well. But Sobolo, you also add... Um, ginger in that uh, flower thing and then you boil it and then you put it in the fridge man man i feel like that thing should be coming here you guys should send us sobolo Ghanaians, send us sobolo we want sobolo in the key we we deserve the sobolo <laughs> we deserve the sobolo here in botswana please send us sobolo man um just like I said, guys, Sobolo, don't, if you go to Ghana, don't ever miss on the Sobolo drink. You should take Sobolo drink. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. And then next, which was my favorite, favorite. And I don't, I still don't know how to prepare it. I don't have like recipes. I haven't seen many recipes of preparing it, but it's, Chin Chin. Chin Chin is made up from flour, I guess. I, I don't know like how they make it, but I think it's fried or something like that and then dried. I don't even know. Leave a comment below if you have a recipe, if you know how it's been prepared, please. We need the recipe because I, I miss that thing. I miss so... I, I showed my... I literally, I was talking to my husband. I was... We were talking about that like... My husband haven't been to Ghana, but he knows <laughs> he knows so much as if he has even been to Ghana because I always talk a lot about Ghana. People should just forgive me because wow, 
But yeah, I was even talking about the chin chin. I was like, you know, I don't know how to make it. I wish I could prepare it. I showed him some pictures. He was like, oh, that actually looks like it, it could be so nice. Chin chin, it's, um, it, I don't know, like usually like it's sold in, in the streets. And I don't even know how to, ex like what to explain. But I'll put the picture here so that you guys can see. So that's chin chin. And guys, this thing is is nice. This thing is nice. And there's no too much sugar in there. And one thing that I like about like Ghanaian snacks, like they, they, they are so, they're healthy. Like you cannot find the, the snacks having too much sugar or too much oil or something like that. The snacks are always like so healthy. And most of the times they don't even use like the vegetable oil that much on those snacks. So, yeah. Uh, and then another thing that I feel like I should be having people who send me this thing every day. It's plantain chips. The last time I had plantain chips was when my little brother was coming back from Ghana. Man. Plantain chips will always be a thing for me. And if you go to Ghana, go and buy plantain chips. It's everywhere. They actually sell it even like on the road. Um, whether you are coming from Accra, you can find it in the street. People are selling it in packs and it's dried. Oh man. Oh man. I actually like the, um, the ripe one. The ripe one, that's the one that I love so much. I don't know, maybe because I, love, I like sugar. So so the plantain chips and then malt. Malt. So malt is a drink as well. And I think we do have malt here in Botswana. It's just that it's different. Like I loved the Malta Guinness. The one that's more like milk and something like that. That's the one that I loved so much and we don't have that here. The one that we have, it's, it's um, the one that, um, the plain one. Yeah, the more plain one. That's the one that we have here. We do not have the kind of milky one, the Malta Guinness. We do not have that. So I, if you're going to Ghana, get yourself a Malta Guinness. You'll definitely enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a Malta Guinness, it's, it's a way to go. It's a way to go, guys. And then another thing, man, I loved this biscuit so much. I don't know. I wish I had, like, uh, I wish I could taste them again. It's been a while. It's been a while. There's those Jack and Jill um, waffles, the blue pack. I'll actually put it here. Um, the Jack and Jill waffles, guys. Oh, they finished my money. Those biscuits, they finished my money. Hmm. So anyway, um, try on the Jack and Jill waffles. Cause why? Cause wow, wow, they are way to go. Definitely, you will love them. If you love like those kind of waffle, the like waffles and stuff, you definitely going to love this one. Cause wow. Wow. I think that's one snack that I actually like loved so much like the first time because I, I bought the pack. I think um, I, I was in, like in, in the area for like a day and then I found the pack. I bought it and it just stole my heart. So go buy it. Get it for yourself and you will never regret it. Another thing is fun yoga and yeah, fun yoga and fine, fun choco. Fun yoga and fun choco. I actually never liked uh, fun ice. I just felt, I don't know, like, I think I just have a problem with vanilla flavored stuff because even the ice cream, I don't enjoy like the vanilla flavored ice cream. So I loved um, Fun choco and fun yogo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I miss them so much. And I I loved the fun choco more. Because obviously I love chocolate, guys. I love chocolate. And I think it was a blessing that I, 
I was in Ghana because chocolate is very cheap in Ghana. Like it's not expensive at all because um, they 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 obviously produce that. That's where chocolate is from. That's where the cocoa is being planted. So yeah, so I I actually enjoyed um, like everything that was from chocolate. So I enjoyed fun choco so much. I enjoyed um, uh, fun yoga, and um, with the fun I no, I I don't know. Like I know people who actually like enjoyed um, fun ice. and if you are like if you have like the love for vanilla flavored stuff, you definitely enjoy fun ice. But for me, I didn't really enjoy it that much because I'm not I don't like vanilla flavored ice creams so yeah and then another thing was um kimbite I don't know if you guys know they the kimbite is a, a dark chocolate the one in in a red um paper oh that thing finished my money that thing finished my money I loved that chocolate so much I used to buy it so much and as well as the um, these that chocolate return low tegana it's also reddish yeah it's a it's a dark chocolate as well Ooh. Hmm. if you love dark chocolate you're definitely going to love the 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 low tegana and the the kimbite because those chocolates are so nice and you should try them you should try them. I felt like that's the reason why like my my iron didn't go down down like low low because I was eating those things and there was like a lot of like the food that I like good with iron that has a lot of iron. So anyway, and those are like my favorite favorite snacks and I hope you guys have enjoy this video and i hope you guys will like this video have been helpful for you guys because i was so excited for this video guys i was so excited because i was going to share about my favorite food about what i enjoyed like the favorite stuff that i enjoyed in ghana and the snacks that i enjoyed in ghana and man i hope you guys will try them and you'll tell me but don't forget if you are a Ghanaian or if you have been to Ghana before or if you have tried the snacks before because I know there are other places where they sell them. I don't know if they, they do sell some in in South Africa because the just lately when I was in South Africa, I was looking for like some Ghanaian restaurant so that I can get fufu and I was not able to, to get it. I ended up like buying fried rice and uh chicken and i bought it in a nigerian restaurant but i'm pretty sure they might have there might be some that has like some of the snacks but if you have tasted them comment below and tell me comment below and tell me which one is your favorite tell me which one you like more and the one that you feel like someone would really love because obviously there are people who might watch this video and they'll want to know more about the snacks that we have in Ghana. So I hope this video has been so helpful to some of you guys. And thank you very much for, for tuning in and for all the support and the love that you guys always give me. I appreciate so much and I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.